Welcome to Soccer As We Like It, the May United direction. Today we're talking about the red light clock. Tick, tick, red lights seem to be dimming as the transfer window starts to close, close and close. Let's get right to it. Right, let's roll this tape back. It looks like we've, we've gone over this routine before. Before the World Cup started, Mourinho gave a list to Ed Woodward, the Man United chairman, whoever he calls himself these days, transfer king. He asked for six players at, for six positions, left back, centre back, right midfield, centre midfield, so he wanted five players. We were linked to Gareth Bell, Christopher Ronaldo, Neymar, even Billy the Butcher, who lives down the street from where I live. Um, so, so, so that was pre-World Cup. After the World Cup, after the World Cup shenanigans, no Ronaldo, no Bell, no Neymar. We moved to data. Okay, we finally got before the, the, the World Cup, we got a Ukrainian-based Brazilian in Fred, not bad. We got a second choice reserve keeper experience from Stoke City and a, a, a young Portuguese defender in the lot. Man United, the size and magnitude and gravity of this club, should we be honestly signing players in such categories of world football? We are supposed to be in the elite. Can you imagine Real Madrid going to sign a, a, a mid-table reserve keeper? I mean, I'm sorry. If we're going to be big, let's think big, let's buy big, let's talk big. United are a big club, but we just keep talking like a small, mediocre club, and that's not what we are. Okay. Going forward to this. Now, the World Cup is over, all the shenanigans, all the shenanigans have done, the, 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 the window of opportunity is getting smaller. Last week we talked about Maguire, all the words. What happened? Now, it's now 17 hours from where I'm sitting, it's actually now 16 hours and 30 minutes left before the, the transfer window closes. Jose Marino, through the preseason, has been angry. Not because he's upset or just being grumpy, because he knows and he did say, he did emphasize, he did stipulate, this United current team will not win the title and cannot close that 20 point gap we lost to Manchester City. So the players he's asked for, did we get them? No. Are we going to get them? Not really. Okay, the left back position. It's still going to be Shaw and um, 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 Ashley Young. Right back, still going to be Valencia. And Damian, who's supposed to have been gone? Still there. In the middle, we're we'll going to have the Chaka brothers in Jones and Smalling or Bayern Smalling. Bayern Rojo. Something, something. Nothing's changed. In the middle, who's he going to play? Matic. Pogba. Fred or Herrera, okay Fred, but in the front three, Lukaku, Sanchez and Lingard. So is anything going to really change this season compared to last season? Can that team, that lineup I've given you, can that time lineup topple Man City or even beat Liverpool? Can it? That's a question I want you guys to write in the comments beneath. If this United team can beat Man City, to win the title, over 38 game span, and Champions League thrown in there, and FA Cup thrown in there, and a League Cup thrown in there. Because we've not made any great signings that is going to make an impact. Even when Ferguson was at the helm, when he was winning titles, think about it. When they win a title, they don't change the whole team, he just tweaks to make them better. Because he knows when you win a title, the next season is going to be harder and harder. Look at 2007. When they won the title, Ronaldo, 2008, Tevez, Nani, Anderson. So you see, little tweaks, Owen Hargreaves, what did they win? The league title and the Champions League. That's how you do it. But, okay, Marino, let's say his hands are tied, his hands are tied, his hands are tied, his hands are tied. But, we can't even get a decent centre-back. Toby Maguire. Mm-hmm, Leicester City. We're still on that case. Um, Alderwood, we're still on that case. 
What of um, the left back? We were talking about Sanjo through the summer. How good he is! He's a lovely, he's, he's won a Serie A, a league title twice. He's an Italian player of the year. So what is the problem? What is exactly the problem? Now we're being linked to Zuma, Boateng. Boateng is old, slow. He's thirty. We don't need another thirty year added to the already thirty plus granddad's army club building up and stockpiling in United. Valencia over thirty. Young, over 30. Matic, nearly 30. Sanchez, nearly 30. Boateng, 13 three weeks. What's going on? These players can only give you, what, two years max? Even Sanchez himself came out there. After Barcelona had, had signed uh, um, um, Vidal. He said United, if they want to win title, need to start signing elite players. That's Sanchez saying this. That is Sanchez saying He knows deep down. It looks like he's come to another Arsenal, but the difference between was he was in south of England, now he's moving to north of England where Manchester United are based. So he went through the Arsenal not signing any players, now coming to United, not signing any players, he's running around like a headless chicken. Matic to me is too slow. Pogba needs the ball, he wants it quick. Matic will do a 360 degree circle, do a robot dance, move left leg, right leg, dip. Too many passes, too many touches, opportunity gone. I hope Fred could change that by moving quick. I, from what I saw on Fred on the preseason, he's quick, he's fast, he's tenacious, he's skillful. So he, he might work with Pogba, but this is the problem with Pogba. Are we safe? Can we relax and say, yes, Pogba's going to play? His, his, man, his, his agent, Riola, is trying to sell him to Barcelona. You see, this is the difference. Barcelona are stockpiling stars. I want to get rid of Gomez and Mina for Pogba. So they want a world class and give us two of their rejects. Really? Has it got to that stage? Have we come that low? Are we scraping the barrel now, viewers? Viewers, please help me here. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're a new viewer and don't forget to uh, turn on your notification button and don't forget to share to discuss this further. If boss are stockpiling people like Vidal, they want Pogba. We, why would we sell Pogba and make them great, make them win Champions League? Do we not want to win Champions League? Is that ambition not there anymore? Where are we going? What do we want? What is our identity? Our identity is to be, we win all the top honors. Now, it's like uh, top four is good enough. No, that is not good enough for a club this, in this caliber and this, this astronomical global brand that we are. Man United is a global brand. But these guys don't want to spend 50 million for uh, Tobey Maguire. For Harry Maguire, sorry. 50 million? Okay, they made it 70. United can afford this. Don't be, get it. Don't even think about it that United can afford it. They can bloody afford it. Believe me, mate. They, are, they have the money. They just don't want to spend. The, the owners just feel, if United top four, they get Champions League money. That's good enough. No, that's not good enough. We're not going to be the northern of, we're not going to be the northern star of uh, Arsenal. When that is not going to happen. That is not going to happen. But that's where we're heading. I see and understand Marino's frustration. I see it and I get it. I see it and I get it. But at the same time, even when he has some creative players, he doesn't bring the best out of them. Martial, Rashford, Pogba, look what's going on. Look, look, look at the situation there. You have creative players. Martial, mm -hmm, up to January, flying, Sanchez came, benched. Rashford, doing well, up to January, Sanchez come, benched. Pogba, doing well, okay, suspensions, injuries, benched. So, now, did Sanchez really, really make an impact? No, he did not make an impact this last season. He scored four goals in about 25 appearances. I'm sorry, that return was poor. Let's give him another chance. He played the preseason, he scored a few goals. Good, let's see him play. But for him to say that United need more players as an elite team to be signing top players, it tells you a lot. That tells you a very... That tells you a lot of things to say. That tells you what he's really feeling. I think deep down, he's thinking like... What the F did I sign to? Mm-hmm. Well, you probably signed five years too late, mate. Anyway, moving on from that. So now, with 15, 16 hours and 25 minutes left to the transfer deadline being closed, slammed shut. United haven't signed Harry Maguire, Toby Alderweireld, we're being linked with Boateng, an old 30-year-old who's slow, 
He's injury prone. He's uh, he's Bob, Brian Minnick's rejects. They don't want him anymore. And you know, they just collect it. We've already done that with Schweinsteiger. Yes, but it's like they've got the best out of him, and we're just patching players up and just collecting archive arcade players who've passed the best. You see what I mean? Is it just to sell shirts or something? I don't get it, mate. It's just ridiculous. Now, we've been linked to Zuma. Zuma played for Chelsea under Marino. He's not a bad player. He was good. Until he had that bad injury, he went to Stoke. He played for Stoke a couple of seasons. For last season, he played for Stoke. Is he, is, he, is he what United want? He's good, but is he better than Bailly? I don't think so. He might be better than the Chucker Brothers, Small, and Jones. That might be possible. But has he really got to that stage whereby... We can't even spend money on a decent centre back or even a left back. I think the left back situation is completely closed now. That's done. We are with it's Ashley Young and Luke Shaw on the left. That's official. That is done. Right back Valencia and Damian. Is Damian still gonna go? He's still there. He played was eight games last season. He played the whole preseason. I don't know. So as a United fan, viewers, I'm. Just as frustrated as you guys are. Boateng to me is a no-go. Okay, look at Barca. Bring, offering us Mina and uh, um, the Portuguese guy, Gomez. And they want Pogba. So, it's got to the stage, we don't want to win Champions League. We're just offloading all our great players to them. And they just give us our rejects. Mina is not a bad player. I'll take Mina if we can't get Maguire or we can't get out of it. But he would need time to adapt to the Premier League. The Premier League doesn't give you enough time to, to blend you in. You're going to be eaten alive. This is the problem. We have spent so much time debating, deliberating, press conferencing, presentations, doing everything, chasing, 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 and other things. It's just like we're just like a dog chasing his tail, going around in a circle and achieving absolutely nothing not even a sausage see what i mean uh now i'm gonna leave you one story anything can happen in the transfer window at the very last minute you know why 93 1994 season the great days those of you who remember the glory then roy Keane has shaken hands with blackburn manager Kenny Douglas, at those days, it was Blackburn and United fighting titles back in the day before Arsenal came into the picture. Right. Just giving you a bit of history. He shook hands with Kenny Douglas and said, we're going to sign you on Monday because the office, administrative office, had gone home for the weekend. So he was going to come on Monday and sign for Blackburn. They already shaking hands and agreed, done. Alex Ferguson calls Roy Keane and tells him, mate, you could join Blackburn to challenge United for titles. We, we win titles. Do you want to join us? We could win the title without you, but we can win the Euro Champions League with you. Take that and roll it up your sleeve and smoke it. And what happened next? Roy King was a United player. That was the last minute. The only reason Roy King didn't sign for Blackburn Rovers in 93, 94 was because the administrative office had closed for the weekend on Friday. And Alex Ferguson, the man here, picked up the phone. Roy Keane, this is Sir Alex, this is Mr. Alex Ferguson here. Blah, 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 bam. Next thing, Roy Keane was at Old Trafford, done. And he, he was a great leader, one of the greatest players United ever had. So, I'm still hoping, with 16 hours and 20 minutes left for the window to close, I could still say United can still pull off one signing. Even if it just, Harry Maguire can force if he needs to. He can force. Look at Courtois. He said, I'm going to Real Madrid, I'm done. I'm not doing Chelsea, I'm not coming up for training. He's gone. He's off. Later, mate. So if the player, remember, the, I always said, Odell, if any of you remember the true transfer window four, week, four seasons ago, or three seasons ago, the Odell Winge, Nigerian player who was playing, who wanted to force his move, he actually went to the club, sat outside the ground, forcing the transfer, and his club like, no, it ain't happening. So it can still happen. I'm hoping we could get either Toby Maguire. Oh, I keep saying Toby Maguire. Harry Maguire or Toby Alderweire. I'm hoping we could get one of those. If we could get either one, at least we have a centre-back at least solid. They're both 
experienced players, done well for the country, did well in World Cup. Harry Maguire is a great, it did well for England, okay. He's, he's, he's got that leadership quality. Toby Maguire, solid as well. He, he, I think he's better than Jones. But the problem is, will Jose Mourinho utilize these players? Can this team, this team, the Gaia, this is the team that is, is, is going to normally start. The Gaia, Valencia, um, Smallings, Bailly, or Smallings, Jones, Bailly, Jones. He normally always plays Jones because Jones is one of his favorites, once he's, he's fit. On the left, Ashley Young. In the middle, Herrera, Pogba, Matic. Matic is too slow. Good player, but he's slow. We need pace. United, what we are lacking now is the speed and the pace. We, we don't have that counter-attack speed, that, that, the ferocity that a lot, a lot of teams used to be scared of United on counter-attack. We have no wingers. We have no players who could, you know, we do, don't have it. Our fullbacks, Valencia, he goes down one wing, he will cut back on his right foot instead of sending across. That's where we are today. Then another pass, another pass, another pass. By the time they finish passing and making a jigsaw pass on a full design of Old Trafford map, the defense is already set back and ready to defend the, the chances you're not know, trying to uh, um, apply. That's the problem. The build-up is too slow. Now, he's going to play those three. Or by probably mix Herrera with Fred. That might work. Hopefully, hopefully Pogba stays. Now, up front, Lukaku, Sanchez, Lingard. Then... Martial or Rafa to come in as subs or however it makes. If Lukaku is not getting the service from the width or the wings crossing, my man is not the best first touch player, mate. He always has the heavy touch. If the ball is placed into him, he makes that heavy touch and balls. So he needs crosses. He needs crosses. He needs balls to be brought into so at least because he's very strong in the air. Or is Joe Mercer Marion going to play Luke, uh, Sanchez behind Lukaku or Rashford behind Lukaku? We just have to see. My name is Tim Russell. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the like button. Drop your comments. Leave a note and let's talk about this. It's 16 hours and 40 minutes left for the transfer red light clock. Tick, 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 tick. Clock is ticking. The light is getting dimmer and dimmer. United. I would love them to sign one more player, even if, you know, we just need something. It's not all Jose Marino's fault. It's not all his fault. It's not all his fault. He just wants players to make United a better team to take them to the next level. From what he's seen, he doesn't think this team can close the gap of 20 points we lost to the City last season. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the Leicester game where we will talk, we'll, we'll do a season review for that. But if there's any breaking news, I'll come on live and we'll talk about the new United acquire, uh, uh, acquisition that we get, if we get it. Hopefully we do get it. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.